This is how humans and digital workers can work together to onboard a new employee. In this example, John is a new employee at Huli. Simon is the HR manager, and instead of Simon having to go through multiple systems, such as Jobvite, to get the information, and then creating a new employee in Workday, and then creating all the IT accounts, Simon is actually going to be assisted by a set of digital workers. What you're going to see is that Simon requests candidate information from Jobvite. A digital worker actually gets that for him. Simon can confirm all the details, and a set of digital workers create John's employee information in Workday, create all the standard IT accounts for John, and routes it to IT for approval. And finally, Simon gets a confirmation that all the accounts were provisioned correctly, and John gets a welcome email. Let's take a look at this in action. Simon logs into Ari, and upon logging in, he sees multiple processes available to him through the RE interface. One of those processes is employee onboarding, but each and every one of these processes, when he clicks on them, goes across multiple systems, and he is able to access them all from a single screen. He clicks on employee onboarding. He then has to provide the details of the candidate ID. And that triggers a digital worker that works in the background, so Simon can continue doing whatever work he wants to do. He can be talking to other employees if necessary. And the digital worker logs into Jobvite, retrieves all the information about this particular candidate. A message box from the bot appears on the screen, verifying all the information retrieved. This information comes right back into Ari, so Simon can confirm it. Instead of Simon having to copy and paste the information from Jobvite and then put that into other systems, this is now all automated. There are no errors that happen. There is no copy-paste to be done. But what Simon is able to do is modify the information that comes back from Jobvite. And in this particular case, what he is going to do is confirm the employee location and job function. In this case, the employee will be in New York and will work in pre-sales. Once Simon hits the submit button, a set of digital workers gets triggered. One goes into Workday, creates the information for John in Workday, and actually assembles all the information for John in Workday. And then goes into several back-end systems, creating all the IT requests for systems that need to be approved, such as access to SAP, access to ServiceNow, and so on. Once all of this has happened, Simon gets a confirmation back that all the work has been completed, and John receives a welcome email. Thank you for visiting the Automation Anywhere YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button and learn how to build your own digital workforce with our automation success platform. Get your free demo today at automationanywhere.com.